up, it's Keith. Quick little video, I'm gonna show you how to start a window cleaning business. Absolutely nothing. I actually just bought a couple things from Lowe's, but I'm gonna walk you over and show you exactly what to do. So you walk up in Lowe's, Home Depot has the stuff too, but Lowe's has the Ettore brand, which is a lot better. So you walk over to the cleaning section, and here you go. You grab this for 20 bucks, a squeegee and a scrubber, or you can get the one that articulates, which I like better for when you're using a pole on an angle. See, there's a scrubber. You can grab some Dawn dish soap and vinegar, mix that up, or some squeegee off by Ettore. And then a pole right here, uh, probably an eight foot pole, extension pole. So a squeegee, a scrubber, a pole, a bucket, or a Lowe's bucket, because it's blue, and some microfiber towels for 10 bucks. Boom, you're in business. Get some business cards made at vistaprint.com and go knock up and down doors, say, hi, my name's Joe. I own a local window cleaning business. I'm expanding in this area. Do you have anybody who currently cleans your windows? Yes, no, maybe so. Great, I'll clean your windows for 15 bucks. Yes, no, maybe so. Doesn't matter, keep next, 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 and you could build an entire business in a week. There you go, that's how you start a window cleaning business from nothing. Now we're in, these are the windows inside of Lowe's. I wouldn't try to get Lowe's as an account, just too much upfront work. But well, here you go. One, two, three, four, so probably four bucks a window. That's 16 right there. One, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. So there's 12 times four, what's that, 36? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Those are big windows, so they're double windows, right? So it's actually two, four, six, eight, ten. So it's eight bucks a window, right? That's 80 bucks plus 36. So that's what, 106? And then the other side is identically the same. So that's 212 plus this, about 220. Now, whoa, they're not gonna pay that. No, hell no, they're not gonna pay that. Those are kind of like national window cleaning average homeowner prices, right? But I would say, uh, I don't know, 60 bucks for all this. Realistically, what you would really get. And then if you do with the other entrances, uh, six, 12, 18, 180 bucks, you could probably get, let's say you could get 180 bucks for cleaning the windows here each time. So if you have a bunch of stores, you can make three, four, 500 bucks a day off $50 in materials. You get what I'm saying? Now, it's, I'm making it sound easier than it is, and it takes time to build up that momentum, but I mean, you can really make $500 a day cleaning windows. It really starts with the belief that you can actually do it. And you don't believe, most people don't believe anything. I didn't believe it until I went out and did it. And I was like, is this really happening? Is the universe playing a joke on me? <laughs> See what I'm saying? Like you literally, the first time you make $500 a day cleaning windows, you feel like the universe is playing a joke on you. Here's the real truth. Here's what it is. I know what it is. Well, at least anybody like me. I grew up extremely poor, poverty, all that bullshit. Poverty-minded, victim-minded, loser-ass fucking people trying to brainwash all that shit out of my brain. But we were brought up to think you got to get a job. We were brought up to think that broke thinking that it's a scarce world. There's no work and no money and nothing out here. And you're lucky if you get a fucking crumb. Bullshit. Bullshit. There's so much money and abundance in work out here, it's insane. There's so much work that you can't even do all the work. That's how much work is out there. So you can absolutely make $500 a day cleaning windows like it's a joke. The real uh, challenge is learning how to grow beyond yourself in leadership and grow a business. Like those are my growing pains right now, learning how to grow a business. So very excited. All right, I'll give him a shout out. Joshua Latimer's Automate Grow Sell program. I'm actually in it right now. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. It's challenging too. All right, cool. I got to get back to work because we did a whole house for, it was $259 to clean the windows inside and out plus screens. And I forgot to clean the basement windows on the inside. There's like some low down basement windows. So I'm running back to the customer's house to clean them real quick and I'll see you on the flip flop. Yo, yo, yo. What's up, guys? I'm sitting inside a Subway right now eating my sub. Look at my sub. Mm, it's a good <laughs> sub. It's a good sub. But anyways, 
there's windows here and I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity uh, to give you some prices of what they would cost. So in Subway eating, perfect opportunity to make a window cleaning video. Impulsive, right? So check this out. If you were to price a strip mall in plaza like this, see all these windows, you could bang these out and get a lot of jobs real quick. If I'm walking and I'm looking at a job like this, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve windows. Does that count? I don't know. Let's just count anyways. 14 windows. Or throw those ones in free and make them happy. Now, what would you want to pay for something like that? Oh, the window cleaning guy's calling me right now. Okay. 24 bucks just to do that. Is that place gonna pay for that? No, because your average window cleaning company is gonna charge a buck a window for a brand new guy that they call Bucket Bob. He's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and he's gonna do it for twelve bucks. Now, realistically, this is a thirty-six dollar job to do this. Thirty-six bucks. But they're not gonna pay it because the brand new guy who's trying to get his window cleaning business off the ground would do it for 12 bucks. When I first started my company, I would do that for 12 bucks all day and I was getting jobs like that. Then if you go down the plaza, you go here, 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 and you're banging on all these doors, like this one right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 windows. Uh, oh, you got them over here. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So you got 27 windows. If I did it for two bucks a window, which is totally cheap, you got, um, what was it, 34 bucks to do that? That's peanuts, 34 bucks. You should be getting like 68, 75 bucks for that, but they're not gonna pay it if you got guys running around doing it for a buck a window. That's why some of the professional window cleaners I know have gotten out of strip malls and plazas and they just don't do it anymore because it's too competitive and there's not any money in it. But it's the perfect opportunity for a brand new guy just getting involved in business to do it. Because now you might not get a subway because it's a corporate entity. You gotta be a licensed insured corporation and stuff like that unless the manager gives petty cash allowances for you to do it. But a place like Nails For You, I call them the Chinese nail salons because I love them. You can go in there and if you talk to them real good, you can bang that out. Oh, you do it for uh, $12, $14, $12, $14, hell yeah. They love that shit and they love you and then they get used to you. The Chinese ones, people are the best because once they get used to you, they love your ass, right? So you can get like 14 bucks to do that. I know that's insane, but I guess if you're real good at sales, you could bump it up to 20. I don't know. Let's see what else. These little tax places, these are impossible for to get. This is a tax place. I can never get these locked down. Miracle ears, sometimes I can get these if the manager will pay uh, the cleaners. Cleaners are hard to get because they're real cheap, but I have gotten cleaners if you get them in cheap, like 10 bucks a pop. Like I'll do a cleaning place, 10 bucks a pop inside and out and be out in like, you know, 10 minutes. And there you go. Bo Ricks hair care places. When you do hair care, even franchise places, the manager allows petty cash within their little corporate regional entity. And I would do those for like 15 bucks. This one. Now you asked me today, I wouldn't do this for under, I wouldn't do that for under 85 bucks. Right? But think about it. If you're locking down four places in a plaza, and you're knocking them all out in an hour and a half. You just made, say, 12 times four, 48 bucks in a couple hours. If you're all by yourself, it's not bad. You can grow a business with those numbers and get the ball rolling. You know what I'm saying? What else? What else? Uh, CVS. I've tried to lock down places like that. You got to go through management and the corporate stuff and all these phone calls. It's not even worth it. By the time you get it, you, you can't even get it. So. Because uh, one guy did leave a message in the comments. He's like, dude, I went out all day from sun up till sundown and I didn't get any calls. And nothing happened. I didn't land a single job. And even one guy, I think, called the cops on him. And that's funny. You gotta talk to the manager. You gotta talk to the guy with signing power, the person in charge who has the money to pay you. If you, uh, cause I said, just grab the scrubber and start doing the windows for free anyways to like force them to pay you or something. Well, if you're doing that to an employee, they're gonna freak out and call the cops. But if the manager sees you doing that, then the manager will come out, either tell you to leave, or he'll pay you, right? All right, I gotta go back in. Everybody inside of Subway thinks I'm crazy because I'm in the middle of eating my sub and I jump out and I start shooting a video outside. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>
Knocking the door brought to you Subway. Want some Subway? What are you doing? Cooking. What are you cooking? Master Choli. Master Choli? Where? I like the way you make the sauce all creamy. Yeah. This is the part where I run in the bathroom and I pretend like I'm taking a really long shit. And I upload the video to YouTube. And then I sit on YouTube for 20 minutes seeing what's up with you guys. So guys, Keith Kelfus on a window cleaning job right now. Uh, I want to talk about screens. This is huge for window cleaning. Screens will be the biggest thing that will uh, block you or stop you from getting jobs done fast. So check out all my tools here. Window cleaning belt. I'm just using this. Sorbo squeegees with the uh, Unger scrubber. Side holster system. Taking screens out, sometimes you'll be like, this is impossible. I cannot get this screen out for nothing. And you can get frustrated and spend 20 minutes messing with the screen. I've been doing windows for like four or five years now. And still, I'm coming on more and more and more different styles of screens. So like this one seems like it's impossible. I see it's got the pull tabs. You're going to be extremely careful so you don't break them when you pull them out. And sometimes if they're really old and they're pull tab style, you will break them. Because they just fall off like brittle. So I see this window here it has these notches because I can't get the screen out. There's no way to get it out. So I can get, get, out, get out this way. But, but no, it stops on the blinds. I can't get it past that point. So how am I going to get this screen out so he can at least clean? Aha! Uh -huh. There you go. Tricky, tricky. I've never taken one out this way before. I literally had to slide it out like a sleeve out the back side of the window. There you go. And then when you're resting screens, don't rest them on people's white walls. I'm going to rest this up against the door right here. There you go. And another thing is you're cleaning windows. Uh, it's four dollars per window for outside only. So it's four, eight bucks right there. If someone wants inside and outside, eh, five, six bucks a window. So that's ten bucks for two windows inside and out. Oh, and here's another thing. Here's another thing. I have booties on my feet. Do 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 do. Always wear booties on your feet. My solution, and then I go in and I scrub the hell out of it with microfiber towels. Every nook and cranny, everything I could possibly get my fingers in. Or you could take natural sponges, scrub the hell out of it from every angle, scrub the window inside, outside, every little tiny possible thing you can get. Every nook, cranny, and groove all gets scrubbed meticulously and thoroughly, wiping down the sills, everything that you can get and then you clean the glass inside and out and you're scrubbing the glass and buffing it off because it's filthy and dirty and then that right there that's ten dollars per window per pane so that would be twenty dollars just to do this and screens are a buck a piece if they want them if you gotta move them they're two bucks a piece if you're gonna clean them I've even bumped my price up to three dollars a piece for screens now to take a screen out clean it put it back it's three bucks a screen so you're looking at thirteen dollars for just for that window. That's interior, exterior, tracks, sills, and screens. Just to clean it. So we're only doing exterior only on this house, but see. Hear that background noise? Guys cutting grass across the street. Pull out my sweetie like so. Hard to tape and do stuff at the same time, so I'll be criticizing my technique. Alrighty. So if I walk around this house, if I was doing glass only, I'd be like 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, because there's three right there. There's two door walls. Uh, Goes ten bucks a piece because they're big windows. That's uh, 65, 75, 80, 85 because there's two there. 
90, 95, 95 bucks for this house to do inside outside glass only. It's got to be quick, but they got to take the screens out in order to do that. So you got to charge them a buck, two bucks a screen and hit it off right around 105 bucks to do a house like this. And you should be in and out of the house in an hour. Two men, anything over an hour, that's too damn long. You want to be averaging 100 bucks an hour. Boom, 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 boom. We're doing uh, four houses today right now. And it's a real estate client of mine. Has a bunch of properties, so we do all this landscaping and window cleaning. We'll have a group, group of houses and we'll go bang them out in a day. Boom. So 90 bucks a house. He goes, what? 90 bucks a house? I'm like, yes, 90 bucks a house. Four houses, what's that? Nine times four, what's that? 36, 360 bucks. And it takes us, I don't know, five hour a day or something. Plus other stuff we have going on. I'm just talking about windows, what we do in that block. So you want to be making, I don't know, at least, what, what do you want to make? 45 bucks an hour? Profit? Think about taxes and insurance and all that stuff and gas and all your overhead. You got to make money. So usually, uh, three-man crew on this crew. Today, it is two-man crew. He's brand new. He's learning how to clean windows. And he's getting the hang of it pretty damn fast. Putting a lot of extra scrubbing action in those windows. Yeah, let's see how he does. Come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Squeegee at night. Oh, nope, nope, he cut that corner. He'll learn. I gotta show him the technique again. But it's cool. You don't just pick up something right away. It takes a minute. Look at that. Crisp and clean, baby. Another thing is, I always carry a little flathead screwdriver. I carry a pocket knife. I got a good knife. Because you never want to handle a screen with your, your bare hands or fingertips on the screen part here. Because what will happen is you'll punch a hole right through it. Guess what? Now you're hoping they won't notice, which is a douchebag move just talking slang or you're got to fix a screen now so I don't do that I'm using my knife I get in there real right there pop it open and I reach in there everything you do you can't you got to use a little bit of force to get screens in and out windows but never force too hard where you're gonna break or snap something because that's not good that's hack work so there's a lot of wiggling with screens and a lot of delicate actions you got to do and like whenever I lift up Venetian blinds, I'm always using my hand to assist the blinds in case something breaks. You run into all types of crazy stuff cleaning windows. You know? I just leave that like that because we're only doing glass only. See these pull tabs? Just pop it back in. Boom. And when you're done cleaning a window, always make sure the screen's put back in secure, windows closed. Everything's locked. Make sure there's no smudges on the windows. Close the blinds back. Put them whatever pitch they were at when you got there. So every window in the house looks identically the same and the spot was clean with all windows locked. Right? It's like a system. You gotta systematize that, dog. Systematize it. <laughs> right. Next window. See, ain't nothing in this house. Nobody in this house. So I go up to this window, they're going to open like that, so i got to pitch them a little bit. Okay, then bring them all the way back. Okay, open, open, slide back all the way. <clears throat> old windows, you're going to put a little bit of force on. Never touch storm windows on old houses. Okay, pull tab very lightly, wiggle it just to get it out of the clip, out of the hole. Do the same with this one. Get all that dirt and gunk and mud in there. I like to see windows like this before I quote them for window cleaning. You try to do a, <laughs> a premium window cleaning package on that, clean out the tracks on that, oh, it's hell. You need a, a vacuum and a lot of scrubbing and water and dry rags everywhere so you don't get water dripping down the flat paint walls. It's very much a nightmare and expensive too. That's why I'm charging 360 bucks to do a two-story house that's just a basic colonial for your premium windows. And they're like, what are you crazy? But then I'll call them back and let them know 
this is why. Matter of fact, I gotta call this customer lady back because I think she has sticker shock about the price I gave her. Hey, you give someone a price for 150 bucks to, to clean all their tracks and you open up the windows and you're seeing cobwebs and spider webs and gunk and filth and shit and you spend 11 hours on one house for 150 bucks. Look at me, I'm getting all cocky, it's great. So I've done it. You go spend 11 hours in a house and walk away making 30 bucks profit for a day, exhausted, dripping in sweat, moving people's furniture and all that. 360. A house that takes those 11 hours, that's better be a thousand dollar house. You know what I'm saying? Houses I've charged 500 bucks would take us all damn day and I'd still be pissed. You gotta go in the customer's house and look at the tracks. And I'm kind of being a hypocrite here because I'm getting to the point now where I'm telling the customers, you know, I just quoted over the phone by a text message. So I guess if I get in the house and I open it, I'm like, whoa. I'll have a, a disclaimer, that's a good idea, a waiver, a contract that says, hey, if we uncover, you know, stuff we didn't know, like this is really bad, it's going to be an extra hundred bucks. Should I stay or should I go? Do, 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 do. <laughs> Window cleaning is a luxury service. It's luxury. Water-fed pole system, man. See that? He scrubs it, and then he sheets the water down the glass. Only issue is that some of these windows, including this one on the other side, yeah, of this. Got a phone call. That big house. Look at all those windows. Three stories, man. Got 68 windows. We're doing this one right now. All the now screens. You're gonna, now you're gonna try and get in with the uh, owner of the pistons, aren't you? Yep. That that's why, because the owner of the pistons that he works. Are you glad they were? You know what I'm saying? Those people. You? That's why I got some, because they're gonna do all their mansions now. Yeah. Alrighty. So, check this out. We're doing this job right now. This window cleaning job. You guys said two of them next door to each other. Gave them a super deal. These houses are. Probably 300 bucks a piece, 190 each per house, but they're right next door to each other. So we'll be out here in like four hours or whatever, two and a half hours per house. But I got this customer going around like freaking inspector gadget, looking at every little microscopic speck in the window. What's that? That's in between the panes, sir. Can't get that. What about that? Oh, that little spot is me. Let me let me take my chopstick and my let me take a Q-tip and sit there. Goofball. When customers do that to you, what they're trying to do is they're trying to take you and grind your face into the ground. You little bitch, a slave, a slave, a little bitch. <laughs> you little slave, a bitch. Don't let them do it to you, man. As soon as we got in the house, I opened, I take out thousands of screens. Both of these guys' screens, the corners, crumble like peanut brittle and the screen breaks in my hand. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Because, because, because of the wonderful things he does. If I put my thumb through someone's screen, I'll fix the screen. It's 18 bucks. 18 bucks. We did two of them the other house the other day. Bitch ass screens, man. They're so hard to get out. Broke two of them. It cost me like 36 bucks. Whatever. Stand behind my work. But this guy's screens are falling apart like, like freaking like, like nothing. And he's sitting there looking at me like, dude, I ain't paying for $120 in broken screens. There's a lot of loud cars drive by, sorry. But check this out. It's all about the way you communicate. It's a sense of confidence. When I first started cleaning windows, I was running through people's houses all scared shit. Like, oh my God, oh my God, what if I get a little drop on the white carpet? What if this, what if that? Oh my God, it's a chandelier. Oh my God, I just put a little tiny microscopic divot on the f where the frame of the screen, trying to get the screen out. Oh my God, what if they notice it? And these people do notice it. They're nuts, man. They go around with with uh, magnifying glasses. They don't even pay attention to their windows, ever. 
They don't even give a shit about them. Whereas, but now you come to clean their windows, and they're sitting there with a magnifying glass, like like freaking Inspector Gadget, going, "Oh, I'll keep you here two, three, four, five more hours, you piece of shit." Uh. <laughs> don't let them do it. Hey, real quick, what's up? It's Keith Kelfer. Got booties falling all over the place. I'm excited. Check this out. We're on a window cleaning job right now, cleaning these two houses, these beautiful houses. And in the backyard, there's this monster house. I can't show you because the customer is waiting for me right now to bring him a work order to sign him up. I saw the guy outside. I said, hey, Forrest, who works for me, I said, I'll give you 50 bucks if you go sell that guy in window cleaning right now. Window, he tries to sell him. The guy's no thanks. We don't need him. I said, oh, yeah, I took my booties off my feet, ran over there with a the business card. I said, watch this. I said, hey, where's the, where's the man in charge? His wife goes and gets him. I said, oh, the boss is here now. You're not going to turn me down now. And... I gave him a deal he couldn't refuse, sold them on spot. We're doing all the exterior windows for $199. We're gonna be in and out in two hours. It's $100 an hour. It's $200. And um, there you go. It's a positive expectancy, man. It's awesome. What's up, Keith Kelf is cleaning windows in this restaurant right now. I don't like standing on booths, you know, on seats. But um, it's just the fastest way to get it done here because there's no other way to do it. And to put booties on my feet wouldn't make any sense because, you know, I don't got to give all these disclaimers, but check this out. Uh, when I'm doing windows like this, you can do blind cleaning as well. And I use an ostrich feather duster. There's tons of feather dusters you can use. I found that the ostrich works best for me. If you find something that's better, let me know. The other duster driving me nuts. This ostrich Astra's feather duster is completely destroyed because I use the crap out of it. I gotta go get a new one today actually. But I aggressively dust and when I'm dusting blinds, I don't have two hands so that's why that's flopping around. I'm aggressively just surface dusting. No, it's not getting all the dust off. It's just surface dusting. So this is a buck a blind. If you do 20 blinds, it's an extra 20 bucks. It takes 30 seconds or 20 seconds per blind. I'm pushing hard to get the bottom and the top at the same time. If the customer wants me to take a wet microfiber and physically wipe the blinds down with a little bit of soapy water and a wet microfiber, then that's $4 per blind. One time this uh, restaurant owner told me, hey man, you're not dusting thoroughly. I said, yeah, I'm just surface dusting. If you want me to come in, you know, quarterly or monthly or whatever, thoroughly dust the blinds with a wet microfiber. It's $4 a blind. I'm only charging you $1 per blind to do that. Just get all that surface dust and it does make a huge difference. If I put that away, boom. Dirt's dusted. Open up the window. I keep with me a pump sprayer. This is a little bit of Dawn just soap, water, and glass clean for. And uh, soap the window. My scrubber is already slightly wet. A window like this, it's two bucks for the inside, two bucks for the outside. So two bucks per pane. So you're charging four dollars to do this window. Yeah. Take out my Sorbo 22 inch squeegee. With the swivel handle. I just got in this habit of tapping the excess water off. This is such a big ass squeegee. Right on the edge, tap the frame, throw it away. Then I have a, this is my dirty microfiber and this is my dry buffing microfiber for wiping any corners. Because when you do it, the water will creep back onto the window. It'll suck back onto the glass. I do wipe down the frame, boom, done. Grab my dry microfiber, go on the corners real quick. I remember I only have one hand. Close that blind. Nice, even, and straight. So it's, it looks clean. This is like the way I picked it up. And then I put them, put them back, slightly pitch them so they all match perfect. There you go. Very nice. And there I just made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bucks right there in three minutes.
Another money-making tip when you're selling window cleaning is pick up this stuff. You can get it from Home Depot or Lowe's. So this is a, I think it's an Unger extension, window cleaning extension pole. This one goes up to, I think, 12 feet. Then here, this is for cleaning blades and dusting ceiling fans. This extension here is like, I don't know, 10, 12 bucks. This is like 20. I clear all the plates off the restaurant, all the silverware, because a lot of dust comes down. I make sure I come to the restaurant way early before the restaurant opens. And then you go up there and you clean the ceiling fan blades. Obviously not while they're on, I already cleaned them. And you clean them real good, scrub the heck out of them, flip it over, do the other side, all around, dust every part of the ceiling fan, all the dust comes down, you wipe it all up, put the plates and silverware back, and then you're charging, you know, four or five bucks a fan to dust. There's an extra 10 bucks you can make in, you know, three, four minutes. Dusting is huge. Also for this client, we dust all the animal heads, all the light fixtures, the whole restaurant. I charge them an extra buck to wipe down each TV. That's one, two, three, four bucks. We do the mirrors. We do all the mirrors in the banquet room. So when you're getting started, each next thing that you add on, that's a service, you know. And I only do all this extra stuff for this client because he's been my client since the very beginning. Uh, I wouldn't recommend going too deep into being Mr. Do-It-All because then it's not something you can train your employees to do everything if they've got to have so many different tasks they can get. You know, it's just, depends on where you're at in your business. But when you're getting started, definitely, you know, you can add all that stuff and you could bang out a good, you know, a quick 95 bucks or something out of a restaurant like this and be in and out and, I don't know, what does it take me, about two hours, two and a half hours tops. So... And I, I try never to dip below $45 an hour profit personally for myself after all expenses. Uh, this year it's 50 and then I'm shooting towards a goal of $100 profit per hour for every hour that I work. So that's a different video, but there you go. See this extension right here? How this is on a T-swivel? I love the extension, no more ladders. I go just to the point where I can reach by hand, and then I take it off and do the rest by hand. And especially on mirrors, I take my dry buff towel and I go and I buff the edges. I might have to stand on a chair. This customer doesn't care. Usually should have a step ladder and I do. He don't care, I just stand on the chair. Another trick is whenever you clean a window, especially a mirror, do one of these jobs. Look at it from different angles, because you won't see something, and then you'll look at it from another angle and be like, oh shit, where'd that come from? So if you do that, the customer doesn't. You know what I'm saying? Here I'm cleaning the mirrors in the banquet room of this restaurant, and the mirrors, uh, small mirrors, buck a mirror, bigger ones, two bucks a mirror. If you gotta climb up on stuff, four bucks a mirror. Um, when it comes to doing restu restaurants, commercial places, plazas, strip malls, what I've found, you have to charge cheaper to get your foot in the door and then you raise your prices up a little as you go. You can't just walk into a restaurant and be like, 250 bucks, because they've seen other windows, window cleaners come by over the years charging like 30 bucks and whatnot. It's just get your foot in the door, then raise it up, start offering other stuff.
The reason I'm holding it upside down is because the the little nozzle busted off inside. I gotta get a new sprayer. And like this is just some Dawn dish soap, warm water. Ching. This is the uh, Ergo Ergotech double holster. I can't talk right now. The Unger Ergotech double holster. It's a tongue twister. These are like 35 bucks. It goes on this belt right here, which clips on a window cleaner's tool belt. This right here is the, uh, I think it's called a, a Polex side holster, right? It catches the water so it doesn't drip all over the place. Some guys will actually fill it up with solution, but I don't like that because it sops all over the place. This is a Sorbo by Sorbo Products. I love this, the Sorbo squeegee, like 40 bucks. Once the rubber gets dull, you know, like once every couple weeks, whatever, you order new ones and replace the rubber. This is a, you know, squeegee channel. This here is a, uh, I think this is, yeah, Unger. This is a microfiber Unger scrubby, and there's all different types. I like this one the best, and I wash it before and after each job. I get tons of microfiber towels from Home Depot, but I also use tons of blue surgical towels, or the best of what I've found so far. You can find those on eBay, window cleaning, websites. Surgical towels are great. This I just got from, uh, it's not Home Depot or Lowe's, it's uh, the other big place out now. Menards, they're like eight bucks. What else? Yeah, I mean, there you have it. Is that $10,000 in equipment? No, but you can make uh, pretty decent money. how there's this table in front of this mirror. I guess I could reach it, but sometimes you find easier ways to do things. I'll do one half, then the other, like this. See, when one half is done, then you slightly overlap on the other half. Paying more attention to videotaping than work, and this is your fault. Last but not least, when you're cleaning around lights, there's a lot of heat, so you gotta really buff it out quick because it dries instantly. And then never, ever, ever try not to clean windows in direct sunlight because you might as well just put your dick in the dirt. <laughs> All right, later.